Hey, what's up guys? I'm excited I can finally do my Christmas haul video. I've just had zero time to get this done, especially with the launch of my 12-week transformation challenge. Like, it has just been so hard to sit down and do these videos, but I'm here, I got my station, I'm in action, and we're gonna have real fun going through all my Christmas gifts that I haven't even, some of them haven't even opened yet because I was waiting to make this video. Talk about self-control, guys. So, I'm gonna start with a present my wife gave me, and then I'm gonna end with a present that she gave me too. And so, first things first, this sick Superman shirt my wife got for me. It's actually a funny story. She ordered it from this website that was kind of shady, and she was pissed that it hadn't come in. It had been like two months, basically, right? And she had already like contacted PayPal to get her money back, and then literally on Christmas Eve, package arrives, and I opened it because it said it was for her, but I could tell it was a shirt. So I opened the package, and I put it on, and I went upstairs, and I was like, dun, 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 dun. and she was like, oh my god, the shirt came in. And then what was really cool is that she let it let me wear it to my mother's house for Christmas dinner because it was a Christmas present, so I didn't have to wear a button-up shirt. I got to rock this thing. And what I really like about it is what most women like about their shirts. It really shows off the goods, okay? The chest looks amazing in this shirt. I'm going to have to buy a few more, so... Thank you very much, sweetie. <laughs> but overall, though, too, guys, it's a real cool fit. You guys can see it fits nice and tight all the way down on the sides. Like, it really is a badass shirt. My wife is super thoughtful. So thank you, sweetie. And we'll get to your other present at the end of the video. Now, oh, I got so much stuff. So I guess we'll start off with a present that my mother and father-in-law got me. So Erica's from Brazil, okay? And so her dad speaks English uh, pretty well. Her mom, not so much. <laughs> and it's always funny when they ask me what I want for Christmas because I always ask them to buy me anime. And they're just like, what is wrong with our son-in-law? I mean, <laughs> you guys know how it is. <laughs> so they love me, though, so they take care of me. And so I asked them to buy me Sword Art Online. This and this is actually seasons one and two, and I just found out they're making a movie that's coming out soon. Uh, an anime movie, not a real life movie. That'd be kind of dumb, but an anime movie where I guess like the virtual world enters the real world. So pretty intense. For those of you guys who've never seen Sword Art Online, this anime is one of my number one favorite animes of all time. Like, I would put that side by side with Dragon Ball Z in terms, in terms of how much I love this anime. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys if you haven't seen it. But basically what happens in episode one is this takes place in like year 2059, okay? And they have this thing called Nerve Gear. It's a headpiece. And when you put it on, it's like the first virtual reality game. And so 10,000 people get the Nerve Gear and they get the game. Like they're, they camp outside for like a week just to get this game. And so they all enter the game and it's like a renaissance type thing. With so As you guys can tell, like swords and shields and guilds and all kinds of cool stuff. And, like, after a few hours of being in the game, you know, people are like, okay, I'm going to log out now because I got food on the kitchen, you know, cooking or whatever, whatever. And they quickly realize that there's no log out button. And then the game master appears and basically says, in order for you to leave the game, you have to clear all 100 levels, all right? And it gets crazy, and if you die in the game, you die in real life. And it is just a friggin' amazing anime. But I'll move on. I want to sit on here for too long. <laughs> um, and because I'm already doing anime, I'm going to move on to the next gift. So this is from one of my friends, John. John's actually been a subscriber of mine for a long period of time. We became, you know, pretty good friends through email, and we chat, you know, a couple times a week. We've been, become real good friends. And so he's like, what do you want for Christmas? And I was like, well, you know, if you really want to get something for me, I'm into this new, this anime, it's not new anime, I'm into this anime called Fairy Tale. And he's like, okay, yeah, I'll, I want to get you one of those. And so little did I know that he was going to send me all the Fairy Tale friggin' box sets. It is actually one more on its way. It hadn't come out yet, so it was on pre-order. It'll probably actually be here this week. 
John sends me all the fairy tale anime, which is a really good thing and a bad thing, John, because I have been watching all this anime. <laughs> Any spare time that I had, I've been watching this. My wife was out of town for two weeks, and my daughter was getting pissed because every time she come home from school, if I was in the kitchen doing something or eating, I would have on the anime and the TV, and she's like, you're so weird watching anime all the time. I'm like, you're so weird not watching anime. But <laughs> anyways... All six! There's only five here, there's one more coming. All six seasons of Fairy Tale. I friggin' love this anime. I've been binge watching like crazy, and believe it or not, guys, I've already watched all of these, and now I'm on to season five. And it is a friggin' cool anime. It's basically about magical guilds um, that fight each other, and it quickly turns into, like, you know, other problem. I don't want to give away. I tend to talk too much. I don't want to give away too much. But the main character's name is Natsu. Uh, then there's his buddy Gray, where they're always they're like it's basically like Natsu is Goku, and then Gray is Vegeta. But there's also got this other guy that you meet later on. I think in like season three, named Gajil. Trying to find him. He's this guy right here, where he's more like the Vegeta, where Gray becomes more of a friend, and um, Gajil becomes more of a like frenemy too. Because they're both dragon slayers, and like a dragon slayer is really rare. It's basically like a magic power that bestowed only a select few to actually slay dragons. But anyways, it's all about like magic and guilds and, you know, fighting for what's right. It's really cool. Definitely check it out if you've never seen it before. But this is an uh, anime review video, so move on to the next present. Um, so, my mom, my mom always hooks me up with ornaments on Christmas so and in case you guys are wondering like presents I got from other family members like my dad or whatever it's usually money and scratch tickets and there's no really no point to show those here because the money's already in the bank and I've already scratched the tickets I just couldn't wait to like do that and I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna wait like three weeks and be like oh I got all these scratch tickets that I haven't scratched yet like give me a break so thanks a lot mom and dad for those things but in terms of gifts I only have a few other things to show you um, so my mom always gives my brother and I ornaments. My brother loves Nightmare Before Christmas, and she always and they've been like coming out with new Hallmark ornaments every single year. So he gets all those. I get all the superhero ones. And because of the rise in popularity of all the Marvel movies, all the ornaments lately, and I've been getting every single one. These things are like twenty bucks a piece sometimes, guys. And I've been buying every single one every single year. So I spend like $150 on ornaments. My tree, I have my own tree that's called the superhero tree. I have so many friggin' ornaments. Anyways, so my mom bought me um, whatever ones that came out this year you don't see. It's because I bought them. My mom basically said, I'll buy you these ones, you buy the rest. So she got me Iron Man. Check it out. Boom. Looking pretty sweet. Civil War Iron Man. She got me Civil War Captain America. Uh, we got this one. This was actually my favorite one this year. Venom. Like, you never see a cool Venom ornament. This one is sick. Look how big that is. So she got me that one. Um, what's this? Oh, a really cool Spider-Man and Green Goblin one. Um, He-Man came out this year. So I got a sweet He-Man. And then we got also a Supergirl right here looks pretty cool more like a cartoon version of supergirl and then we also have the old school um catwoman so check it out right here catwoman and then so obviously this year they came out with the um the justice league or the the dawn of justice figurines there was a wonder woman a batman and a superman i had already bought in those and they actually come together as a piece uh, I should have brought it up here for the video, but you guys can Google search that. And then um, there was also a Dinobot that came out for Transformers, and I had purchased that one too for myself before, way before Christmas. So I got those as well. And then my mom, believe it or not, she actually also makes ornaments, and she makes all kinds of stuff. If you guys like these, um, you can leave your email down in the info section below, and I'll make sure my mom gets it. But she makes these really cool ornaments this is an Iron Man ornament that she made. She makes all these by hand. Um, she did this for me. She did a link because she knows I love Zelda. And then I also got a Batman one here. 
that she gave me too. I mean, she's given me a ton of these things, all different kinds. She made like all the Frozen characters. She made every single Marvel superhero. She's done like princess, Disney princesses. She has a lot of stuff. So if you like these kinds of things, she can make anything for you. Just uh, leave your email. I'll make sure she gets it and shoots you an email and you guys can get some sweet ornaments for your trees. So let me uh, put these back in the box real quick and go over some more stuff. So some of you guys may have seen me on Instagram post about um, Amiibos. You put these down. And I only, so I try my best to only collect certain things. That's why I have only Dragon Ball Z Pops, because I don't want to collect a bazillion Pop, Funko Pop action figures. And for the Amiibos, I only collect the Zelda Amiibos. Check this out. If you don't have the sword stand, guys... You're not a real fan of Zelda, especially Link. It plays the music from Ocarina of Time when you pull the sword from the station. It's actually really cool. You guys can hear it. I'll put it next to the microphone. <laughs> and then this is really cool to watch this when you put the sword back in. Oh, and the sword is a stylus pen. See that right there? For the, uh, the Wii U pad. Badass, right? So anyways, we got Link. And then I have a tower... For all the other Amiibos, you guys can see right here, I have all the Zelda Amiibos. Twilight Princess, Toon Link, regular Zelda, Sheik, and Ganon. And then, this is actually a gift that I bought for myself. I bought myself a few gifts for Christmas. So we got another Ocarina of, uh, Ocarina of Time Link. I haven't even opened yet, but waiting for this video. Ocarina of Time Link looks really cool. Box looks really cool. We got... Another uh, Wind Waker, Link, and Zelda. It actually looks really cool. This is Erica's favorite. She loves them, obviously, because they look you know, like, like cute little dolls. So she really likes this one. And then <laughs> I was waiting for this one to come out. When I, when I found out that this Amiibo was coming out, I was so excited to get it. And then when I finally got it, I was still really excited, but I was a little disappointed that they made him look like Pinocchio. They got the 8-bit Link, which is super badass. I love it. Reminds me of being a kid again. But if you turn it to the side, look at his nose. His nose is so friggin' long. It's ridiculous. But anyways, I'm super pumped. I'm going to be ripping these open now that this video is done and put them on my stand and finally be able to actually look at them and use them in the games. Because I do play Hyrule Warriors, and obviously the new Zelda game coming out very soon. Wanted to make sure I had them all. And if you look on the back, you can actually see what games they work with. And it says Hyrule Warriors, Super Smash Bros., and um, the Zelda Twilight Princess, which obviously I have too. I also bought myself this sick hat at Spencer's check it out and they had a version that was had a black rim but i mean that's kind of dumb why would you get a zelda hat and not get link right there doc links this is part of the doc link series really cool and it's not fitted so you can adjust it but i was super pumped when i saw that i thought it looked really cool and then i also got myself this blanket which i will do a quick pan so right now on my couch i have a dragon ball z throw blanket and i really love these throw blankets because i can make my room kind of look cool you know and switch things up so now i'm going to be rocking this and I, like i said i'll do a big a big uh i'll, sh I'll show it on the couch right now I actually got so you guys can see it but now i can kind of rock a different throw blanket and not have the same dragon ball z one there every time i enter the room and they keep coming out with really cool and new throw blankets all the time at spencer's and so i'll probably be buying more as time goes on but right now zelda's ha gonna have his turn on the on the couch he's gonna be chilling there for a while and some other gifts that i had received my friend jake um, actually just became, recently became friends, and I've been training him at the gym, really kicking his butt, and he got, I wasn't expecting anything, and he got me a few Christmas presents, um, he got me, well, he got Erica and I a bottle of wine, which is gone, and then he got this t-shirt for me, and it's Rono or Zorro 
from One Piece, and it's really cool. And to be honest with you guys, I think what I like best about him is I'm pretty sure the voice actor that does him is the same dude who does Piccolo, which is really cool because they're kind of the same personality, and he even actually has green hair. But I've been really trying to catch up on One Piece, and I've made it all the way through Thriller Bark, and I'm now up to the point to where Luffy is just learning how to use hockey. But I always thought Zoro was a really cool character, um, but then I saw on at the end of Thriller Bark when he absorbed all of the pain that Kuma took from Luffy into his body. That just made me gain like a whole new you know, like world of respect for Zoro. Like he is a friggin' bad ass. So that was awesome. So thank you, Jake, very much for that. And like I said, I'm gonna start this video with a gift from Erica, and now I'm gonna end it with one. Check this out. I haven't even worn these yet because I've been waiting. Well, because it's been really snowy and crappy some days too, but I've been waiting for this video. <laughs> so. Erica and I, we always get each other like one really big gift every single year. And so for my big gift this year, she got me some boots from Balman. Here, I'll show you guys the box real quick. Balman, all right. And I'll open this up. These things are friggin' amazing. You're gonna love these. They're a little on the expensive side, but they're friggin' amazing. And if you guys want to, I'll, I'll try to put in the info section below um, a link to them in case you guys like them and want to get a pair. I'm just going to take one out for now. Well, I'll take them both out real quick. Check these out, guys. Boom. How sick are these? Like, if I was in Underworld, like these would be the boots I would wear. I would fit right in as a death dealer wearing these killer boots. I'd be fashionable and ready to kick ass. So I'm going to put one down on the ground. And then, so the way you wear these boots, okay, you actually don't lace them. So the laces stay just like this. And then once you slide your foot in, you pull the zipper up just halfway. That's all it needs. And then the shoe stays on and it shows, you know, the bottom is still on the front right here. And it makes the tongue look really cool. So they're really fancy boots. And what I like about them too, you know, you guys made fun of me for a while for wearing boot cut jeans. So did my wife and daughter. So I've been wearing <laughs> non-boot cut jeans anymore. More fitted jeans I've been getting from Zara. You guys have seen in photos on Instagram. And so now I'm starting to really kind of enjoy having boots and shoes where you can slide your foot in and then actually get the jeans in there too. And when you zip it up, it looks really cool. And then obviously when you guys buy fancy boots and shoes like this, yeah, you can you can obviously put them back in the box, but when you travel, it's good to have a travel bag so they don't get damaged. And so it does come with a really cool Bauman travel bag as well. So that wraps it up for all of my gifts. I hope... I didn't forget anything. I'm looking around right now. I don't think I did. Like I said, everything else was scratch tickets and money. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. All the cool stuff that I got. I hope you all had a wonderful, amazing holiday. I hope you got great gifts. But most importantly, I hope you had enough time to spend with friends and family. Because at the end of the day, friends and family is what really matters, especially on the holidays. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.